Oh, so you came back for some more food, fantasy? Oh, well. And you know what time it is. It is a one year anniversary for the game. Oh, look at it. It's got a one on her. Oh, that's awesome. So anyway, I made a booboo. I made a booboo. So I recorded the last episode, which had a lot of story to it. <laughs> Not the main story, but event stories. So it got deleted somehow. I just pressed record and it said, oh no, you haven't been recording. And I was like, I'm not. So anyway, that was so bad. And I'll show you what all I did. I'll show you everything and stuff I did. And so I got to redo everything. Is it fate and that brought you back? There's all this. I did that. I did that. And I'm doing this one right now. This thing, this one, and this is what we're gonna do today. This is what we're gonna do today. Now, all right, there's this new thing before I go anywhere called Do It All King, and you get Rum the Pirate. And I, as you see, I have done almost everything. What do these things do, you ask? It is like you know, do special missions like Daily Route, Fallen Angel Route, uh, Daily management you know someone won ten more times and I complete this one and then I get ten of rum and then I get uh gotta get the catacombs which that will be the hardest that will always be the hardest blah and actually did a few things today as always you need you need to okay so we're going into daily in the limited time offer so I've done that I've done that too. And I haven't gotten to this point yet, but we can get all of these directly. Considering I have King King Tuan, Mung Bean Soup, and I have half of Donut and over half, or only like 11 left of American Core Bread, I have none of Bloody Mary. So I'm going to choose him. Yes, it is a he. Lead. And the dull adventure. And before I go into that, that's what we're going to do. But booty mm -hmm. sorry I've been kinda uh, depressed lately but anyway strawberry daifuku we're gonna summon and fuse and then boom adorable ah master attendant daifuku is over here the voice does not match that image <laughs> okay that's kinda weird so oh that's fantastic okay All right, well, uh, I forgot to mention, okay, you may notice a few more ultra rares because I got this one last episode, the deleted episode, which I can't get back, unfortunately. And I also got the Peking Duck when I summoned all that trying to get this one. And I got them both. Look at them. I got them both. And I also got Crab Long Bow somehow. I can't remember if that was in the previous episode before that or not. Uh, it's been a long time. Oh, also, we're gonna go into here. I have enough to, yes, sign a pledge with Fagros. So we're gonna do it. Also, I found out that was what those things were for. Okay, what does this mean? Best enjoyed with headphones? Meeting between you and Fagros was determined long ago by destiny. Oh, it was at this very moment that we met. Really? Relationship are built through time. Do not fear the rough patches ahead. Fufei Grass is trying to better understand you. Okay, well you get this for every food soul? Is it fate that brought you back? For me, for you, destiny is inescapable. Okay, work out the kinks. As you understand each other's strengths and weaknesses, Fei Grass and you have become more intimate. Ooh, you mean like a lover level? What exactly is different about you? Why does heaven always show a special concern for you? Oh, you know me, just heaven sent. Okay, really blowing this up. The ties between you and Fagras are simply a natural part of life. I feel a warmth in my heart. I've never felt this before. Uh, okay. This is also a kind of fate, no? Huh, take an oath. Your image has been engraved deeply in Fagras's heart. Heart? Heart. An oath was taken. You've established a lifelong contract. Yay, marriage. Not sure what, if that's exactly what it is. 
From the past until now, I have detested you, hated you. But in this moment, I can't help but be grateful to you. Thank you for letting Master Attendant and I meet. Oh, what? Oh, that's nice. Long press, sign, pledge. Oh, dang. What? Ha what? Huh? What? Oh, no. Uh, what happened? No, it was so special. And they just quit. Uh, that's ruined. Was it supposed to happen? I don't think that was supposed to happen. I didn't get to see it. Oh, no. I didn't get to see it. Why not? Hey, Gross. Why are you glowing? What happened? Is it fake? I wonder what's the- Oh, that's awesome. Whoa. Pledge signing date? Oh, okay. It's August 6th. Whoop! Well, back to school! <laughs> Goodbye, kids. Let the adults play around at work. <laughs> I'm joking. This will always- I'm going to change my schedule so it can- These things can go up after school. You know, like at 4 o'clock, maybe. Try to find a way to get everything up. Memory storyline? Now let's retry that. I will save you the time. It went on him while he was eating the real. Also the phone rang. Oh yeah, and it raises up now, so yeah. Whoopsies. Dun 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 The restaurant. It seems like I need to have a good soak in the bath. There you go. Bath in the Mr. Attendant, <laughs> would you like to rest bath in a, a while jar. too? There you go. Relax. It won't hurt you. Well, rest over. What do we do now? All right. Now we can go in here and I don't know what. What does this mean? Go Is in it here. fate that brought you back? What is this? Do you want to edit your name? No, I don't want to edit my name. That's stupid. Let's see. Skin. Nothing. Oh. Is that like a nickname for her or is it for a nickname for me? Oh, that's cute. Let's put it. Oh, wait, no. No, I don't want to change anything. I like it as it is. Okay. Also, I wanted to show you something. Something special. That also did last episode that is no longer with us. Press F in the chat. Oh, no. I got him. Yay. He has no character voice, of course. But... I don't remember if I remember getting kimchi or not. But I also got pineapple bun. Pineapple bun. Also, here's the main, main thing. Milk, tom yum, spicy gluten, eclair, ume ochazuke, zhuan yang, uh, nasi lemak, taiyaki, coffee, dorayaki, zongji, <laughs> Long bell, crepe, orange juice, all ascended. How many does that leave? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a ten. Yep, I only need ten more to be ascended. And I still haven't gotten cola, which kind of need cola to complete the rare set. Why am I talking so low? People are sleeping. It's been a rough day. I won't go into schematics. Nope, no sir. But Palata is open and oof. I don't know if I should press this. Wait, oh, press the wrong thing. They moved the daily thing to right here and it's confusing me. Uh huh. Okay, well, lost menu number 34 or culinary encounters 7. I'm just gonna accept this. I'm gonna accept this. Sepsis! Master Attendant, look! Well, would there be such a large house in a forest like this? Well, that doesn't make any sense. There's always large f houses in forests. Doesn't that ring a bell to you? Anything that you see on TV? Oh, you go into a forest? <gasps> it's a house! Rings a bell. Maybe that's where Sanma Shiyoki, Shiyoyaki lives. Uh, let's not and see. Who are you looking for? Oh, it's Sanma. Okay. Excuse me, but does Sanma Shioyaki live here? Yes, that's him. Uh, uh, well, you're backing away. Excuse me, but... That's me. That's wonderful. Tell me, have you seen a cat with brown stripes around its eyes? A cat? You're looking for a cat? Yes. 
Have you seen it, Shaw Man? I don't know if I have the one you're looking for, but I have a lot of cats. You can come in for a look if you like. Uh, okay. Thank you so much. Can I let the cat's owner come in person? Hmm, sure. You've been out too long without a break, Rice. You stay here and rest up. I'll go get the little grill. Alright. Alright. Let's go get the little- Oh, we're already completed. This isn't what I wanted to do. But it's okay. He hasn't said a word since Master Tina left. It's her thoughts. Se- Se- Huh? Se- Sanma Shioyaki. Do you really like cats? Oh, look at her face. It's so... Nervous. Hmm. They're my favorite. They make me go at you. So, I see. Oh, this is awkward. Cats are very cute. Yeah. Hmm. Cute and innocent, like my master attendant. What does that mean? You have a master attendant? Master attendant. My master attendant isn't back yet. Come to think of it, who was Sama Shioyaki's master attendant? There's still no sign of anyone. Uh oh. Culinary Encounter 8. Oh, we're just going to the lost menu first. Collect another crap fi- Whoa. 50 crap row. What is that? I don't think I have any in the bag already. What is it? Palata's recommended dishes. Mm. That's no good. That's no good. Oh, no. Okay, we're just going to the events and get this done out of the way because I've waited too long. Waited too long, waited too long, and we only got an hour and 50 minutes left, so let's go into it, doll. I just looked at the name and I could instantly forgot it. Way to go, Demo. That's a perfect, that's perfect memory banks you got there. The hippocampus is actively saying, Yay, I'm smart, when it's actually not. Sorry, hippo, you're not going to camp today. <laughs> Beginnings, day eight. Early morning, wilderness near the village. A barren wilderness, mud-cracked earth. On the morning breeze came an uncomfortable, stagnant air. As far as the eye could see, there wasn't even a trace of wild grass, much less crops. What are you talking about? I see wild grass all the... What the heck is this? What, well, these are vines. It would be difficult for anyone to imagine that this was once fertile land. Not really. Isn't all desert just once fertile land? Isn't that the point of what made them deserts? Is that geographically correct? <clears throat> Sorry, I have a sore throat too. And society, please forget it for me. <laughs> We've been carrying on like this for three months already. Jeez, dude. Has no one yet found out the cause? Sorry, no matter what I've tried, the land just... <laughs> Hogwash. But, but master... <laughs> what? Let's just come out and say it. Bamboo and the others said they saw a fallen angel wandering deep in the wilderness. Hmm. He's like, hmm, squinty eyes. It's like, I don't think I believe a word this guy is saying. Hmm. Prepare the sacrifice. That is not what I... Somehow, I thought you were going to say something a little, a little different. But, still I don't think you... I don't think it's going to be good. We have certainly angered the gods. What gods? I don't see any gods. I only see angels and food souls and people being stupid. <laughs> huh? B -b 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 if it's fallen, shouldn't we seek out the chef's guild? I said prepare the sacrifice. Did you hear me or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, where you do? Well, uh huh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Well, that's. that's different. Uh, why is it up here? Oh no. Okay. So, there's only wolf. Lava Kangi. Okay, I'm gonna destroy these. Let's go complete our duties without fail. These things will be destroyed. How do you want to be destroyed, little doohickey things? Little bunnies? You want to be sauteed? Oh, they're not bunnies. You have lied to me. You have g you showed bunnies. You gave me eyes. Beginnings, day 13. Afternoon, port city near the village. The village. Bustling avenue. A raucous crowd. A raucous. <laughs> Wait. Raucous? Raucous? I don't know how that's pronounced. Distinctly field. Style. Oop, can't read. Distinctly styled, well-proportioned buildings made evident the city's utterly foreign cu culture to the city's visitors. 
A young maiden took up a position on the edge of the city, curiously sizing up her all her surroundings. So beautiful. <laughs> she entered the stream of foot traffic, looking left and right in admiration as she walked down the avenue. So this is what Gloryvale houses look like. Hmm. Yes. Uh, wow, Sakurajima snacks. Okay. As a culturally open seaside city, there was so much here to draw the attention of the maiden. <coughs> yeah, okay. Without realizing it, the maiden had come to a sparsely populated area. Work zone. Staff only. What is this place? Work zone? <laughs> don't tell me she doesn't know what a work zone is. What a strange sign. That it, she definitely does not know what that means. So, what is this place? Uh, yay! I'm going for lava. Her curious mind drove her to cross over the sign and proceed inward. Inward. Stop moving controller. I'm sorry. Too close. I was playing the switch earlier. I'm sorry. <laughs> then she saw an unsettling scene. A cow giving birth. A thundering mechanical beast was cutting down row upon row of trees. Oh no. Oh no. I've seen that happen. It is horrifying. Ugh. I'm getting flashbacks to seeing all that stuff. Need a drink of water. And then... Water tastes like lemon. Maybe because I put lemon in it. <laughs> but seriously, trees getting destroyed hurts me. I was like, no, a tree. A factory spouting blue smoke was dumping massive amounts of trash into the ocean. Oh, are we getting environmentalists here? I <gasps> know. Uh, yeah. Not the poor dolphins. Not the poor dolphins with straws in their uh, blowholes, considering the fact that straws just degrade over time or at least the ones that should be around i mean we have degradable water bottles now why the heck not straws and i blame california <laughs> i'll blame california also florida because you know florida and california how the one if you live in those two states i'm sorry but you know we can't all choose where we live the scene before the maiden made her stomach turn is that the fa facade of beauty all built upon this? Uh, yeah. How do you think? They made it so pretty. It wasn't naturally built here. It doesn't make sense for the earth to say, Okay, here are buildings. <laughs> what are you talking about? The earth doesn't make buildings. But they make caves. Why didn't humans just live in caves? Well, I'll tell you what they did. Except geographically, caves don't... Uh, the nearby soil doesn't produce fertile farmland so that's a bad idea which which honestly grassland turns into a desert eventually and that's the point that's the point you overdo it it turns to desert see it all comes full circle the maiden had decided to investigate but just as this moment a petite figure suddenly appeared crashing into her chest wait what okay let's go complete our duties without Goes fail offhand. I don't know I'm trying to be funny, even though I don't feel good. Oh, yeah, okay. Nope. I think that I can do better. So take from the great Jack Sept the God. Beginnings day thirteen afternoon. Port city near the village. Hey. Oh, oh, it's your little girl. Sorry. It's okay. You need to watch where you're going. You little runt. Oh jeez, calm down. Calm down, Lava. No, Kangi, no. <laughs> what are you in such a hurry for anyway? Uh, ah, brother. The child seemed to remember something and broke out in a panic. Noticing his panic is the maiden hastened to soothe him. I think the pronouns are a little different in this world. Little girls are called he and little boys are called she. That's confusing. Not so fresh. <laughs> Relax. Or no lies. That, that last one doesn't make any sense. Just say, relax. Relax for a bit. Just calm down. Shut up. Get help. <laughs> Can you tell me what's the matter? My little brother. <laughs> the child wanted to say more, but stopped abruptly. With pursed lips, he, he started shaking his head. I think... I think they wanted to use a guy or a little boy for this, but they only had the little girl model, so I'm thinking that's what they did. What? It's 
It's nothing. The maiden saw fear and weariness in the child's eyes. Oh no, as if that wasn't already astounded. As if that isn't already established. It was clear something was weighing on him. Her. Do I have to really do that? She squatted down and emanated a gentle spirit to soothe the child. It's okay, you can tell me. I want to help you. After thinking a bit, she then added, I'm a food soul, you know. Uh-huh. Is that a good idea to say? A food soul that protects humans. Uh, the weariness in the child's eyes dissipated quite a bit. <sighs> Looking at the maiden. Oh yeah, right. The food souls that want to destroy humans are usually fallen angels by this point. I forgot that point. Sorry, I'm trying not to vomit. The urge to vomit is very much high. So, I don't want to. <coughs> Looking at the maiden, he hesitated for a moment, then said timidly, I, I was out playing with my little brother and he got lost. Why does she turn into a uh, Hannibal Lecter? Uh, that's not what Hannibal Lecter sounds like. <laughs> then how about we find him together? Mm, all right. Yay, find them together. Together. Let's complete our duties without fail. You know what? The Hulk. Iron Man. Captain America. They're all together. Beach. Walks in. <laughs> uh, my jokes are trying to be funny or not funny. They're just cringy. Yeah, it's the cringe episode. We need one of those. As if I'm not cringy already. Beginnings Day 13, afternoon, port city near the village. The sky grew red as the sun sunk below the horizon. The maiden led the child through the city. The pa they passed many places on their way. As they talked, the two gradually became familiar with each other. But even so, they weren't able to find the little brother the child was looking for. Shall we rest a bit? I'm okay. Were you tired, miss? I'm fine. Are you tired, miss? Missy Pissy. Gotta use the bathroom. Now she looks Missy Pissy. Puh. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure we'll find him. How about I bring you home first? Maybe your little brother has already returned home himself. Yeah, she said this. The child's expression all of a sudden grew worse. Oh, no. He shook his head forcefully. And look of a strong resistance in his face. Even though it's a good little girl, that doesn't make any sense. The maiden was puzzled by his this reaction, but before she could ask further, the sound of footsteps interrupted her. A man walked up to them. Village leader, I finally found you. <laughs> the boy shrunk behind the maiden and fi oh no, is he the sacrifice? Please no. The maiden unconsciously knit her brow. Uh, okay, here are you. Hmm. I'm his father. Yeah, well, you're pretty bad at naming, at gendering people because <laughs> little girl, it's not a his. I mean, it can't be. Well, it shouldn't be nowadays. It shouldn't. No. No. Mario Lopez. I agree. I agree. From a corner where the maiden couldn't see, the child had opened his mouth to answer back, but he was silenced by the man's next words. Your little brother already came back home, why haven't you? Huh? Uh, the maiden listened, a bit dazed. Was it? Why? It was just what she said. She looked at the child. The child clutched tightly onto the maiden's clothes. He lifted his head. Your dad found your brother. Huh? What? Huh? The little girl said, your dad found your brother. Okay, first off, that doesn't make sense unless Labakongi says that. Why is a little girl saying it? Then I guess I'll go home. Uh, their grammar. Ooh. Uh, okay. All right. Take care. Even though the maiden could feel something strange in the air, it's probably all the dead trees. As she watched the child go, she still couldn't find a reason to stop them. Follow them then. Let's go complete our duties without fail. Follow and end his life or career. Career as a village leader. Leader. How do leader him? <laughs> How did of him? I think, that I, I think that I can do better. Now what's his sacrifice going to be? Uh, okay, so I got three Let's go more. Complete our duties without three fail. more. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna win it.
I'm definitely going to have to amplify this because my voice is so low. Low. Two of two. Beginnings day 13. Night. Port city near the village. The city at night was even more bustling. Traffic flowed down the street like a river. Accompanied by a din of people talking as the maiden walked. She didn't really have the heart to enjoy all of this wonderment. That devastated natural environment. Oh no, what did you expect? And the strange incident with a child she encountered. The two affairs lingered on the maiden's mind. Oh, I bet they're... I bet they're destroying the forest because of fallen angels around there. Actually, that would make a lot of sense. Like, instead of it having the city, like, on the edge of a forest, just, just destroy the forest around the city and make that clear gla grassland. Not glassland, that would be, that would be so awesome though. Like a, a sheet of glass separating the forest and the town. That way, any fallen angel would just, you know, burn up in the sun because the sun and glass is just like... <laughs> Very soon, because her mind was elsewhere, she had bumped into a passerby. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Be careful. Aw, oh, no, it's Tulsa. Huh? Lama Kongi? Is that a woman or is that a man? A familiar, familiar voice rang in the maiden's ears. She lifted her head and saw whom she had run into. Oh, Tulsa! I'm really sorry. Sorry about that. I'm really sorry. Yay! So far, so good. No need to be like that. What's up with you? Walking the streets absent-mindedly like this? The maiden briefly told her everything that just happened. And she explained that what was bothering her about it. Then let's go check it out. Huh? It's not like we're walking into a lion's den. Are you? <laughs> We're just gonna go check it out, right? Eh. Are you afraid of my accompanying you? Uh, <laughs> no. You definitely make opposing opponent. It's not that I'm afraid, it's just... Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Ugh. So, what is she afraid of? I don't know what. Something's not right here. And it's only got two more left. Oh no, you, you didn't live. Put up a better fight, man. Okay, one more. Okay. Beginnings, day 13. Night. Wilderness near the village. The maiden and the woman walked along together. Oh, uh, so it is a woman. But see, here's the thing. The little girl was a he. And a him. And that confuses me. I know not see what happened. Is it really supposed to be a little girl? Or is it supposed to be a little boy? Who they just used the character model for the little girl. Little girl. Clever girl. <gasps> Wait a minute. What if in Jurassic Park the clever girl was a clever boy? Oh no. But isn't it canon that every dinosaur is female? I'm not doing that. Oh well. Watch my Jurassic World evolution vids if you haven't seen it already. Yuck yuck. It's funny, I've wasted 25 hours doing it. But oh well. Following what the maiden knew from taking the talking with a child, the pair came to a village. It was already late at night when everyone should be indoors asleep, but the village was lit up with lanterns. A group of people were at the village entrance, surrounding an altar and kneeling in worship towards a wilderness beyond the village. That doesn't make any sense. People are stupid. May the gods hear our call. I forgot what I, I forgot what intellect I gave him. May the guns understand our plan. I'm just gonna give him like a, like a, like a pin-eyed preacher or something like that. What are they doing? They seem to be having a ceremony. Ceremony? What ceremony? In the middle of the night. That makes sense. A lot of things happen that way. What are they thinking? I mean, hey, hang on. Their prayers aren't right. Their prayers aren't right. Don't say that to anybody. Don't say that to anybody. That's a bad... I mean, that's something weird, but aren't right. What do you mean? They're not praying for good harvest or to have a desolation go away. They're praying for the gods' forgiveness and to accept their sacrifice. Sacrifice? I knew. Yeah, that is not right. That is not right. I don't care who you are, that is not right. 
Ah, a bad feeling started growing in the maiden's heart. Without regard for her companion, she leapt forth and ran toward the group of people. Hi, White. Huh? Speak clearly. Laba Kongi, no. Wait, which one would get me the most? Hmm. Huh? Hey, wait. Laba Kongi. Maybe her namesake. Oh no, I was only plus five. The maiden pushed through the crowd and came to a village elder. And amazingly, she discovered the bound that bound to the altar were two unconscious children. Oh, that's what I thought. She couldn't hold back a startled cry. What are you doing here? The village leader rose up in fury about to scold the maiden when he realized that another had appeared by her side. Isn't it clear? <laughs> They're holding an evil cult ceremony. Oh, we're not some evil cult. What do you call it then? We are atoning for our sins in the eyes of the gods. Your gods are stupid. Huh? Why is she suddenly off the side of the... Heh. <laughs> it's gonna be a fight. Ooh, what's that? A Dolby. A Dolby. Dolby surround sign. A Dolby, where did you steal from Dolby? You've ruined us all. Beginnings, day 13, night. Wilderness near the village. Planning to make a living sacrifice, are you? A live sacrifice to atone for your sins? This doesn't make any sense. If you want to atone for your sins, just commit suicide, that's it. Don't do that. Don't do that, but that makes the most sense, doesn't it? Don't hurt someone else, that's just more sin. It doesn't make any sense. If not this way, then how do we placate the anger of the gods? Maybe just be good and not think you're all, all high and mighty? The land is barren and the environment this village depends on for survival is in ruins. Well, how about you just move? Wouldn't that just be simple? Simple? Maybe go to the South Pole and understand how it's like to be there. Then you'll come back and say, Okay, we had it good, we had it good. Don't stop complaining. But I'm hungry! No, stop complaining. We're not going back. <laughs> With the appearance of fallen angels, hunting is also out of the question. Without the spilling of blood, how will the gods hear our calls? Maybe you need to spill the blood of the fallen angels. Or maybe, you know, uh, maybe just don't care about the gods for a second. Go your own way. The man glared at them, eyes wide with righteous indignation. Uh-huh. Right. <laughs> Unrighteous. Wicked indignation. But seeing this, the maiden didn't fear. Instead, she started laughing. Okay. The gods are loving. They would never punish their own believers with suffering and strife. Unless it was to teach a lesson. If they were really loving, that would be to te teach a lesson, right? As for the barren land, you have to find what's causing the barrenness. Fix the environment. Yes, I agree. And if fallen angels appear, then call upon the chef's guild to help. Don't try to guess what the gods are thinking. Like so many people do. The height of ignorance. Not fit to be seen. Absolutely stupid. Okay, I only have one choice. And I need, this is the last fine, ooh. Not fit to be seen. Wait, uh, the height of ignorance. That was actually sound what Toso was, oh no. I knew it, nah. You think we have been tried? Yes. But how can mere people do anything to change nature? Dude, where do you live? If you can farm, if you can build houses, you've changed nature. Maybe you need, just need to change your nature. Blech. Can't you try looking at it from another angle? Haven't you ever thought that this place who changed and destroyed nature is the first place? It was people who changed and destroyed nature in the first place. The seaside city nearby is constantly destroying the environment. Haven't you thought to start there? Uh. <laughs> Just that the two were in the standoff, a roar erupted from a deep in the wilderness. Yes. Because you always gotta have a fight to bring people together like, Okay, I hate you, but we gotta fight this thing or die. Nobody says, Okay, I'm gonna run off because I don't like you and live. <laughs> and then instantly dies. Which, I wouldn't, you know, I guess it's okay. A fallen angel had awakened. So there is a fallen angel. Tosa, you finally remembered I'm here. Oh, pfft. Stop. Well, stop it. I'm just saying to you. 
Let's go take care of it. <laughs> Let's go. The maiden and the woman set off side by side into the wilderness. Before going, they looked back at the man. Every problem always has a solution. They're just... You're just looking for a way out. Oh, that is so true. That's so freaky deaky true. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Consume 15 Cristalto. And I'm gonna go back... Whoop. Absolutely stupid. Stupid. Oh, dang it. <sighs> no. I did it again. Whoop. There we go. Okay. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, no. I need a. Dang it. Need 85. Fine. It's not like I came to care or anything. Why am I saying the Star Wars thing? That's stupid. Why am I doing it? Wait. Wait, I gotta go back and do that. Retry that. They said. I thought they said, What are you, dong? <laughs> I may be uh, misreading that, but I don't know. Oh, let's see. Huh? Speak clearly. Yay! Made it. Gotta get that much. Gotta get that. Gotta get. Gotta get. Gotta get that. Um. Let's see. I need 46. 43. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Ah, oh, spending almost 100. Spent almost 100 today. That is definitely not good. Now, dude. Oh yeah. Did you just notice how little funds of coins I had? had almost like 20 million now I'm down to like 220,000 yeah that's what happens when you try to uh, increase the level of your fallen angel because hmm it costs like half a million just to try to upgrade to level 30 not 30 but uh the increase to level 10 yes beginnings day 13 night Wilderness near the village. Sounds of intense fighting rang out in the depths of the wilderness. The villager was frozen in their places like wooden dolls. Okay. After a long while, the maiden and the woman returned. Yeah, I just realized they had to work in the title in there somewhere. The maiden dragging a fatigued body behind her gave the man a look. The fallen angel is taken care of. Okay. That's kind of dark. Okay, I'm just gonna drag this body to the town to show him. Well, why not take his head off? Are you gross? <laughs> You're so gross, Toso. You shouldn't be so gross. Let them go. Mm. But, <clears throat> if you're still worried about the land, I think going into the city and having a chat with a mayor would be much more productive than huddling in this village. Mm. I understand. Thank you. No, you don't. The maidens conspicuously shook her head and let out a sigh. Go. Take them home. Oh, is that it? No, I don't want to reset the store. Whoa, that's a lot of resets. But, you know, we did it. We did it. And how many is time to spare? An hour and 15 minutes. Let's go exchange stuff. Can't exchange for anything. Oop. Oh, well. Well, that was fun. That was fun. That was fun. I agree. Funniness is next to godliness. Oh, speaking of. I was saving this for today. Look at how many treasures I have. <laughs> I have been saving it for so long. And if you also notice, I have also been saving my hearts too. Look at those 5,000 hearts. I did have 8,000. But I started using them because I ran out of gold. Couldn't buy some of those fishing lures. But yeah. Okay. We're going to use all. And oof. I don't know about this. 44! Coffee, man. Ugh. Oh no, two of these are already. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's good. Ooh, nice. Oop. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to save that big thousand for last. Okay. Holy moly. Uh, 
Uh-oh. I thought I'd get more than that. Aw, oh, I am disappointed. But I guess I'm gonna use these two. You know what? Why not? Let's use all the hearts. <gasps> 7,000. Dang, dude. Yay. Okay, now, here's the thing. I've done eating up all that, and there's... Sake's gotta level up, right? Sake? Like autumn leaves floating on a calm oh, wait, it wasn't sake. It was plum juice. For you for a Both meeting and leaving Dang it. Is difficult. <laughs> Master attendant, Poop you. But all of my rares are three stars and up. That's good. All right, now, since I got so much of, uh... Coffee. Let's see. Uh, coffee. Ooh, 60. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. 38 times fuse. Fuse, my man. Well, I don't know. Let's get something. Alright, that's good. Okay. Poop. I'm sorry. This is, there we go. There we go. Now, see, that's what I like to see. Oh, that's what I like to see. I also got 50 of Search Thromming shards, which I didn't get. I didn't get her, no. But there is a new forest di uh, diary coming around somewhere. Boy, my throat hurts. My throat so hurts so bad. Let's see, where's... There we go. Let's see. Truthfully, no one else is other than those two. So if he is those. 11. Yes! I definitely need some escargot. But... Uh, how much does hamburger need to Attended. level up? Oh, uh, okay. Now shall we begin the activity? Oh, yeah. Mooncake is also at the point. Wow! Master Attendant! How did you get back so early? I still haven't prepared. No, no, no. It's nothing. <laughs> Okay, so this is Osechi. She's basically the the one year anniversary present to to me and everyone else. And I don't know how long how tough she is, but she is a golden healer, which I now have all four options. Uh, de uh, healer, magic, defense, attack, healer, magic, defense and attack. Is there something else? No, there's nothing else. Ooh. So yeah, I have gotten 80 food souls now. So, if you've watched this long, tell me how many food souls you have if you play in the game. If you are, or if you aren't, I'm sorry. But anyway, we're gonna end it now, considering I have to do stuff. Plus my throat hurts, and I gotta get tasks. Defeat one Don Dash customer? Okay, we'll do it. Boom! Let's go complete Team power, 72,000. So anyway, I think we'll end it here. Uh, that just do not feel good. I'm sorry. None of us feel good here. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, uh, if you want more gaming content, then press that subscribe button. And if you want to see more food fantasy, then go ahead and click that like button as well. I think you'll come back. I know you'll come back for some more of food fantasy. And boom. I got it. <laughs> so, what do we do this? When it snows, can we go and build a snowman together? I wanted to try it for a really long time. Whoa, that's new. Master Attendant, do you like anything in particular? I've always wanted to make something for you. Oh, you get new voices. When it snows, can we go and build a snowman together? I've wanted to try it for a really that's long time. That's awesome. But you know what? You can catch it next time. Master Attendant, do you like anything in particular? I've always wanted to make something for you.